we can prove the mean value theorem. It's not a very intuitive proof. It's the kind of argument where you look at it and say, where did this come from? But it is a short and hopefully relatively easy to follow. So we're in the setting of the mean value theorem. We've got this continuous differentiable function. And what we're going to do is define a new function, h of x. And this function may look a little complicated, but remember that functions built out of continuous functions are continuous. And functions built out of differentiable functions are differentiable. And here it is, our single application of Rolle's theorem. H of A is this. And this difference is zero and a minus a is zero and zero times a constant is zero. So at the left end point, this function is zero. What happens at the right end point? Well, this B minus A and this B minus A cancel. And we're left with F of B minus F of A minus F of B. These negative signs cancel plus F of A. And this is zero. So our values at the end points are the same. And Rolle's theorem says there is a number C such that H prime of C equals zero. Here's h of x. This is going to be a little cramped, but h prime of x. We've got the derivative of this. The derivative of a constant is zero. We've got this constant times x that derivative is just the constant and we've got this constant times a the derivative of a constant is zero So here's the derivative. And when we plug C in here, we get to zero. Take this, add it over to the right. And we get that the derivative at to C is the average rate of change. 
which of course is precisely what we wanted to happen.